Hey, hit film fans. Pelicano suggested an alternative to my flicker technique that's probably a little bit faster and a little more elegant if you ask me. So let's go over that pretty quickly. First of all, I've opened up pit film. I've created a composite shot. And we're gonna again put in a plane. I'm gonna make one plane black and then I'm gonna put in a, another plane that is also uh, white. So I have a black and white plane. Um, this one's the black one. I'm gonna rename the plane so I remember what I'm doing. I'm gonna call it, not surprisingly, black. And then I'm plane two. I'm gonna rename that to white. So if we look here, the white one is white and the black one is black and we're good to go. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is put the white one on top just because it feels better to me. And what Palancano suggested was to use opacities to create my uh, transitions between white and black. And that's a great idea. It's pretty straightforward. We come down to the transform property. We can hit opacity. And in the first frame, I've ex expanded out the um, timeline so we can see frame by frame. First frame, I've got it to be zero, or 100% rather. I'm going to come over here and make this frame zero. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to make this frame 100%. And this frame, we're going to make zero. And then we're going to move over and make that frame. 100%. And let's make the next one also zero. And let's move on to the next frame. And let's make that one zero as well. And let's move on to the next frame. We'll make that one 100%. And I'm using the period key to move forward amongst the frames here. So if you didn't know that that was a shortcut, it is. It makes it pretty quick to move uh, from frame to frame, frame. Okay, so that's how you create your series of frames. Now let's go ahead and, and collect each of or select each of these keyframes. And I'm going to Control C to copy, and then I'm going to move forward one. Control V to paste. And we're going to go to the end of what I've pasted, and I'm going to hit Control V again to paste. And if you don't want these to repeat, you could go in and make some subtle changes just so that the rhythm isn't exactly the same. But quite frankly, with this kind of effect, I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference. And I'm going to go out and get us at least 10 seconds of, of uh, changing video footage that we can use in our transitions. All right, so let's add our uh, some video, our composite two video. Let's use uh, Girl at the Beach as another element for this composite. And then uh, we're also going to bring in our composite shot number one. Composite shot number one doesn't have to be visible, so we'll decrease or we'll remove the eye, unclick the eye. And then we need to add an effect. Again, it's the set matte effect. We're going to apply that to the girl at the sea beach. And then the source layer is going to be composite one. And the source is going to be luminance. And there we see we get the flicker effect. But there we go. Let's go ahead and render this and see how it looks. And there you have it, another way to produce the flickering effect. And you can export that composite shot, or as we did before, create a film clip that, uh, or a video clip that you can use in other editors or uh, in other occasions. Have fun.